<laughs> Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And you know, New Year's is coming, Christmas and all that good stuff. And on the Ed Brown Show, we're going to have some changes too. Uh, we're going to tell you about the different changes that we're going to make. And we got uh, uh, Carmara here at Richmond. And uh, she, you know, she's been one of the backbones of the Ed Brown Show, bringing in all sorts of terrific guests. And we're going to continue that, but we're going to get into an uh, international phase, uh, something new. You know, with so many things happening, what is with Cuba uh, mm -hmm. situation, with the ISIS, with the uh, satellite, all of those international things that are really happening that we want to be part of and the Ed Brown show has been part of it before and we want to start off 2015. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Come here. Welcome to Thank the Ed you, Brown Mr. show. Brown. Thank now, you. Now hey, hey hey tell him a, a little bit about your your radio show that's going to be you want to bring uh, different guests from uh, your show to the Ed Brown show and we'll do it vice versa. I know, which is great. So you know my radio show because you've been on it, the uh -huh. Stroke Diva Fabulous Show. Mm -hmm. The Stroke Diva Fabulous Show because I had a stroke, but mm -hmm. still kind of, you know, still kind of yes. fabulous. Right. <laughs> right. And so I'm really connected to folks online, and so if it's someone I'm interested in, I invite them to be on the show. And I've only had like great people on the show, so that's why I can bring you <laughs> great people right. here with, <laughs> that's a, <laughs> to that's Ed a Brown great International. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. That, that's it. Some of the outstanding uh, guests have been yes. uh, individuals that you have contacted. And, that, right. and that, that's the idea is the variety they want. And, you right. know, I'm really, what do you think about the idea uh, of uh, getting involved in the national part of uh, the world? Right. I think it's great. And you and I talked about it not yeah. too long ago mm -hmm. about there's so much more going on in the world than right. it's just here in our county yeah. and so all the things like that's in the news today whether it's isis yeah. or cuba trade with china or russia right. you know that's something you know we want to go beyond the local levels and yeah. so that's why i'm glad that you have ed brown international because we're yeah. going to right. well, have what, more guests what, that on was like the that. idea right and and I, and I think that uh, you know various guests just like uh uh, he's talking about the retired uh, Michael see, Braxton. Yeah, Ma yeah, Michael Braxton. Uh, the information that he has and individuals that are work and and the th things we will work to, just like the embassy. Okay, you have right. the uh, as Nigeria has moved its uh, as far as development has mm -hmm. moved way ahead of all of the African nations and uh, right. what. Uh, China is doing as far, and we got to think in terms of uh, energy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, where Global. is, yeah, we're, we, we, we're thinking in terms of the energy, when we think about energy, we think about heating homes, when I'm thinking about energy too, is when the basic things, you know, like right. uh, facility, a bathroom right. facility, you know, that we take for granted, you know, other nations, they don't, they haven't advanced that far, you know, right. and the things that they're doing to move along. Right. In some countries, you have to pay to go to the bathroom. Yeah. You know, we were talking about how you have yeah. to squat, Yeah. you know, to some countries in order to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And, and we take that for granted. We take it for granted. Yeah. Right. And, and we're talking about no clean water. Yeah. Because for countries that don't have clean water, they're sick. Mm -hmm. There's there are a lot yeah. of d disease yeah. because they don't know how to wash their hands. They don't have water mm -hmm. to wash their hands. Mm -hmm. They can't take a shower. Yeah. And, and imagine uh, you have a limited time in which the electricity will be on. So right. if you want to uh, use anything that provides, you got to have a, a time of the day that you have electricity because you don't <laughs> right. have the basic thing of electricity just right. go and turn the water on or, or, mm -hmm. which those are the things that we take for granted right you know and I, i'm energy efficient mm -hmm. but having a limit on it mm -hmm. I would really, really have to cut back. <laughs> right. Well, well, most people. You know, we have the lights on. We right. have the water going. Right. Everything. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do for uh, uh, 2015. We're going to bring in some outstanding things that are, are really happening in uh, uh, in the world. That's why that we're thinking of mm -hmm. the theme of uh, international. Because, mm -hmm. see, the world is not just... Uh, 
our metropolitan area here, you know, Montgomery County, Prince George's, and Washington, D.C. It's a lot of things that's going to really right. affect you. Right. You know, because most people, you, you, right now, most people, they don't think of solar as a, as a form of energy. Right. You know, that's, that's the elite or people, you know, are trying, but mm -hmm. just like the, your electricity and your energy things that are happening now, hey, look, it's that, that, that's, that's right. going to be the thing. Solar is coming, and whether wind. you're ready or not. Yeah, and <laughs> wind. I mean, we yeah. still, we're at a place now where we can still use that. I mean, we should use it more. Yeah. And so, again, those are things that, but, you know, because it saves we don't money. talk about. And right. it's, and, and it's uh, clean. Right. See, or maybe some of the entrepreneurs, you know, you know, like the electric company, gas company, and all. Well, you, you know, they got to do something, you know, to make up for the right. fact that people are not using their commodity as much because right. they're dealing with uh, natural uh, energy, right. solar energy, right. and and that is, uh, I mean, people don't talk about it. You see it around the uh, state and the county, uh, one mm -hmm. or two houses, but that that's going to really change when they it perfect is. that. And and the thing about it is that it's a lot of uh, uh, businesses get involved because all those solar panels need uh, maintenance. Right. And it was just see? One, one day we were just driving and just happened to look up. I mean, in my, where I live, mm -hmm. I had no idea that there were so many solar panels. Yes. Just happened to just look up and said, oh my God. Yeah, it, it's coming. We, I and, need and, solar. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but the idea too is that that's another industry that uh, individuals can get involved in right. the industry. See, right now, I think uh, uh, due to the manpower, uh, most of the solar panels are, are made in China. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the uh, uh, demand uh, and the uh, labor, uh, the right. labor in China. But what's going to happen is that individuals can actually go into uh, businesses uh, dealing mm -hmm. with solar. Right. Because there's a lot of things that have to be done to perfect it. Right. See, that's when uh, actually you depending on the sun. Okay, what happens when the sun doesn't shine today? You know, right. I mean, do you have a backup or, or just how how is that going to work? Or don't shine for a week. Right. See, a lot of people, sometimes the sun doesn't, uh, we get cloudy days, the sun doesn't shine for a week. You know right. what I mean? Especially right. in the winter, you know what I mean? Time that that happens. Right. So, I mean, what is the backup for that? And what is the maintenance? That's it's a good a lot question. Of, right. Yeah, it's a lot of research still has to be done, mm -hmm. but it is in the future. Right. And we were talking about the, so we're talking about wind, we're talking about solar, and we also have to talk about clean coal. Yeah. And how that affects, mm -hmm. affects us. And everything has to do with money. Yeah. You know, it all but, boils but, down but, to money. But, but actually. And education. Well, it, that's it. Mm -hmm. that, that is the key. Right. Is education. Youngsters can, all of these things that's coming on board, there's the future for youngsters right. deciding, you know, what, uh, what type of business am I, what will be the demand five years right. from now? What will be, be, oh, by the time you get educated in one phase, and you, then that is out, you know. Right. Just like all the people that are involved with coal, and uh, I like that. Well, coal and wood in my day, that was the, <laughs> That's the best energy was you had was right. for coal and wood. Then the gas is here now. Right. You know, so uh, very few people, very few people have uh, coal and wood energy for their home. Exactly. They have either have gas or oil. Right. One, one of the two. The same thing is going to happen as far as solar. I think what they're going to have to do, they're going to have to make it affordable. Now, that's, that's the key. That's that's, that's going to be the key. The key. Mm -hmm. See, and that's and the money. If if they make it affordable, then it's uh, uh, third world uh, uh, countries that don't have the uh, uh, funding. Then mm -hmm. they themselves can uh, get involved in. It. But mm -hmm. right now, uh, uh, solar panels. Uh, I think one of my friends have they out of sight. <laughs> you know? Right. You know what I mean? Right. See, because uh, it, it's the 
the young people are thinking in terms, I know, when I may, uh, decided to major in the science and the chemistry, I was looking at all the oil plants, the pharmaceutical houses, and all of that. But what's going to happen? The demand is going to make the difference. Right. See, so youngsters out there look in terms of that. And the other thing is that, hey, going to the moon. When someone, when I was in school, someone was going to the moon, I said, they are crazy. <laughs> I <laughs> know. Going to the moon. To the moon. <laughs> and I <laughs> happened to look it up one day. There are 12 people that have done that. Yes. I've just, just because they're talking about it on the news, I'm mm. like, well, let me see. Who has gone to the moon? Yeah. We know the two most famous. Right. But 12 people have gone on the moon, and you don't hear anything about right. that. Because, see, it's going to, they're going to have it so that you know, it's just like you catch a bus. It's going to be right. very expensive because some people, do you realize some people are waiting to go to the moon? You don't have the yes. money yes. that it takes for that you rocket. Have a place to millions live. And millions. <laughs> <laughs> right. But they, they, they have the funding and everything right. that they can do it. It was the same thing happened with the airplane. When the airplane first came out, you know what I mean? Well, the people, didn't, they were a little shaky for it, and no one right. could understand how you could fly from here to Germany, eight, 12 hours, and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, and actually now you go uh, around the world just about. In yeah. 16 hours, I know some people no went time. to Germany and places like that, but uh, the uh, air energy that's, that it takes for a plan to function. But mm -hmm. I, I think now they are taking advantage of the people <laughs> because they don't have any alternative. The air, That's the true. Air. But other uh, airlines are coming in, and as time goes on, that's going to change too. It would right. be the and that's what they're afraid of. The industry is afraid of. It'll be just like you go out here and catch a bus, you know. Right. <laughs> because that's what we need. It's, you know, all all the way down to how much do I have to pay for it. Yeah, right. You know, and so as we just keep growing, then, I mean, why do you have to pay so much for a plane yeah. ticket? Why do I have to play to put extra bags? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's well, ridiculous. Well, well, that's what they... <laughs> That's right. what they're paying guys six six figures to right. figure out how they can make money, cut the service, make more money. Right, and, and you get peanuts. Yeah, right. That's it. <laughs> right, because they don't peanuts. pass they don't pass it on to employees. They put no. it in their pocket. See? Right. That's uh, the, but that's the uh, when you look at things. That's where capitalist society is. Is right. you got to make you got to be able to make. Money and you have to have it at the right time. Right. I mean, with the demand, when there's a demand for it, see. That's and, when you and, need it. And see, but the th the thing I you say, need more of it. Uh, the other thing that I say too, and I'll, I'll be uh, bringing individuals in, in is, hey, I think, and you can quote me on it. I think education should be free. It should be free because education is an investment. In the future. Education Absolutely. is investment in the future. I mean, making education difficult is backward. Because what happened is that you have talent there that don't, won't be used because no. of... They can't mm, afford can't it. Can't afford it. And if they do get to college and they right. graduate, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars that you that, have to pay back. That, It'll that, take you the rest of your, right. they, it's a of house your career note. to pay all that back. Yeah. It is. It's some ridiculous. Of, some of the education play $40,000 a year for uh, edu uh, uh, for education. And you go four years, you look at that. But that mm -hmm. that's going to change, too. They're going to find out that although they, they're they pushing education, got to make it affordable for masses. Right. See? And I think we should have free education and free health care. Mm, yeah. I mean, those are just the basics where you should not health have to Health care falls choose. in that category, too. Right. You should, I, I have to choose. Do I pay, do I get my medication or mm. do I pay my rent? Yeah. And so that's just crazy. Right. But, right. but it's something that's essential. Those you have who, to have Education it. and health are essential. You have to have them both. You, you got, and why make it difficult when the country when the companies are making 400 and 500 and 600 percent profit exactly 
And I think, you know, when you think about education, you think about some of these countries that have free education. Mm -hmm. And so that's an investment in right. the future, because like you're saying, it's we're missing out on our best talent if best they can't talent. go to college. Right. And so I don't know why we should be number 28 make it or difficult. whatever it is. Yeah, make right. it difficult right. to get an education, which is, uh, to me, education is the investment in right. the future. And the U.S. should be number one. Yeah. Instead of, I guess, maybe last year we were, what, maybe 27 or 28 mm -hmm. when it comes to education. Mm -hmm. That's just shameful. Yeah. yeah. In this country, right? Where there's so much money. Yeah, but uh, and, and instead of them, <laughs> instead of them making it uh, so that uh, individual can really get the education, they make it difficult. And, Very difficult. And what happens? The youngster, he wants to do something, but it, it it's a crying shame when I hear they say, "I didn't have the money." I can't afford it. You know what I mean? Because it, it was too expensive. And unless you get a scholarship, and these days, I mean, you have to have a serious scholarship. You have to be able to say, okay, I can play tennis, I can do golf, I can do football or basketball, mm, right. and you have to do it extremely well to get, well, just to well, get in now some of these top colleges. Like, you have to be like a serious athlete. Exceptional. Exceptional. You have to be right. exceptional. Like, like you're going to the and, Olympics, and, and that's the what fact you have that, to do. Uh, the youngsters, they, uh, the different sports, football, basketball, and baseball, and okay, they look at the high salaries that they make, but only about one to three percent of the people make these right. uh, uh, type of salaries. Right. And then you have a health limitation. Right. You go out there, and or either you don't even have to do it during the game. You go home and stub your toe, and you can't produce and that's it. because these guys with pro teams they want you to produce. produce. Uh, a good example is what's happening with the Redskins. The quarterback he's getting <laughs> all his <Redskins>. money, <laughs> but, but, but what I'm saying is that they oh, they invest Redskins. money into the player, right. and then when he's injured or something like that, then they lose out. And most of all, which most of them don't care, but it's very important to the players, right. is that if you can't perform, right. then I'll let you go. And that's why <laughs> you, you know always I mean? I'll need. sign you to, right. if, if you're injury prone, I'll sign you to uh, a two-year contract or one-year contract. Right. But you have to it, have that backup person. Yeah. And so you, to have number two, you have to you be have exceptional to, right. to be able to step right. in to the player that's gone. That's gone, right. So you have to stay up on your game. Be, and that's why uh, youngsters put so much emphasis on these sports because right. of the high salary. But hey, look, look. The vulnerability is is there. Right. Your chances of making it first right. is about <laughs> one to two percent. <laughs> one right. to two percent. That's right. it. And then after you make it, then if like I said, you are uh, doing some housework, doing putting up a ladder, doing something at home and fall off the ladder, or something and, and injure yourself. Uh, they will, the first thing they want to do say, hey, Ed, let's renegotiate re this contract. Because, <laughs> right. see, you got, you got a bad knee. <laughs> <Right. laughs> and the doctor said you won't be able to play anymore. Right. Although we have signed uh, a five year contract. Mm -hmm. And that's what. You and then have you to have, have to, uh, you got a bad knee, then you yeah. have to negotiate. And you don't have no choice. And who knows about your health care? You know, you yeah. have to leave the league, mm -hmm. and then, let's say, something happens, and then all of your money has to go into rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. And so then you say, well, what happened to that player <laughs> 10 years ago? <laughs> right. Why don't they have any money now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the guy's you know, out there driving a cab or right. something. You know what I mean? Because the money that he actually invested in, and that's one thing that I, I, I think the youngsters that come out with these large con and in entertainment field too mm -hmm. uh, just making this money they don't uh, get uh, financial uh, aid right. to the point that they invest their money right. all they do they sign the contract they go out there and they buy uh, uh, a nine-room house and they got two people and what they 20, got, uh, 20 cars. Uh, 20 cars. <laughs> you got to have a car for every day, you know, right. and that, that type of thing. Exotic and animals. Yeah. And Just Which waste, in, in the future, uh, it doesn't mean anything. 
Right. Because, see, it's, it's certain things that you can survive on. It's like you don't have to have the best of everything. You know, right. some people, they want uh, they try to impress their peers, you know. Right. <laughs> so when they go out, they go out and buy, buy something right. that they can't afford. People are in houses right now that they can't afford. That's why we had the problems in the homes right. here in Prince George County. Right. People lost their homes because they didn't uh, evaluate uh, the salary in the, in the future. Right, and people didn't know what was coming. But we, we, you get laid we, off, what happens? And that's it. But yeah. that's too, when it comes to education, you have to have something else that you can do. Right. So if I'm not going to be able to play, mm -hmm. what else can I do? Yeah. And you, because you need that income coming in. Right. Because, see, uh, uh, your education goes right along. You'd be 90 years old and you still have that education. Right. Because <laughs> there still, have been, still have that right. degree, you know right. what I mean? Because yeah. there have been folks, you know, at the age of 90 mm -hmm. that have gone on to get an education, uh -huh. you know, that have written books just learning how to read and write. Mm -hmm. And so you have those kinds of stories. So it's really never too late. But, I mean, we just have to have a different mindset. Yeah. Well, uh, we're taking time here, folks. Uh, uh, I think it's very important. I know a lot of people out there don't agree about education, but uh, education is an investment, yes. and I think that we should put, make it so that every youngster has an opportunity for education. Right. Make, it, make it so it's not a financial burden. Right. What, they make it a financial burden to get an education. It shouldn't right. be that way. Because nine times out of ten, that person produces in your society something that's going to save you money. Right. Because they had an opportunity. They were exposed. They had this opportunity to do it. Well, like I said, educators, they probably, you know, uh, disagree with the fact that, I, I, I don't know, I just mm -hmm. think education should right. be uh, free. And uh, that's that, why. Because we, how much money do we right. spend on a war? You know, the tanks, the guns, and the <laughs> that's what I look billions, at. Billions and you go out and, and you take a, a million dollar a tank or an airplane or something, you blow it up in five minutes. That's it. And it's, it's gone. And Congress is on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all of these things we're discussing yeah. could be fixed. Right. And but it's just we're for in the a few. capitalistic society. I understand right. everybody's trying to make money. You know, I want to make money even if it uh, hurts right. you or hurts right. my neighbor or what. Doesn't make any difference. They, right. they, you, you have a group here in the United States. What, what is it, about three percent of the people uh, have the most wealth right. in this country? Just imagine. Mm -hmm. And and the banks they gave you a good example of that uh, mm -hmm. on the for, foreclosure. Uh, and I, I don't think any of the banks uh, were prosecuted. And they, you, you no. talking about? They were helped. Uh, yeah. You t they, they got bonuses. Mm -hmm. you see, they got they bonuses for uh, setting the people up for foreclosure right. in, in the future. And if, I mean, all that money, you know, for 1%, you know, why are people homeless? Mm -hmm. Why are people, yeah, right. you know, there's no food, no no clean air, no clean, I mean, just basic stuff. You know, you have to live in a place where you can't get, get produce. And in a country like that, there is, you know, in the U.S., there should be no, it should be no problem. Mm -mm, no. You know, why can't I have an education? Why can't I have good health care? Why can't I, you know, make a job? Why can't I get some money? Why, you know, why am I homeless? Mm -hmm. It's... Yeah, well, uh, it was a young lady that was on... Uh, uh, one of the shows, and uh, uh, that was her. She was homeless. She had served eight years in the uh, service, mm -hmm. and uh, wow. uh, she was on a program there. And uh, they ended up uh, giving her a home uh, for uh, one year and gave the youngster uh, a scholarship for one year That's on awesome. this particular show. I thought it was it was a good thing, but what uh, actually they needed was uh, education and financing. 
Right. Because uh, this young lady, she had the opportunities, but she, the financing, uh, she mm -hmm. put a lot of things uh, ahead of things that she shouldn't have, you know, because mm -hmm. she didn't have the finance. And, 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 the, and with the way the banks uh, operate, they want, for instance, a lot of people don't understand is that uh, what they do, they, if you want to borrow the money, is 18%. If <laughs> and then you put your money in there and your savings in the bank, and they give you three percent. Right. Well, that's a way to make money. Yeah. And that's the <laughs> you other know, thing. You eighteen percent when you borrow it, and right. uh, when you put their money, and they use your <laughs> money to make money. Right. See, and once they make that money, okay, what happens? Yeah. You're you're still in debt. You're still and, in debt. And and the thing about it is that. They didn't prosecute the bankers like they should have for they setting not. the people up. They, they set individuals up for, I, what was it, uh, I think it's uh, for the first six months they could afford the note. Then right. after six months the note uh, doubled. It doubled. Uh -huh. And, and so the people, they that. got the house based on the first six months. As soon as that time, right, that was it. And well, hey, <laughs> oh. This is what the Ed Brown Show is going to be about, the international. We're going to be talking about a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know, about what's going on. Because, hey, we can't live in Prince George County or the metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. The world is out there, and everything that happens in the world it will eventually affect you some kind of way. We mm -hmm. talk about the satellite. How many people thought that 85,000 miles an hour was, was fast? Uh, I, I didn't even have any idea, right. but with that satellite, they say, yes, uh, the satellite, it was uh, 85,000 miles a minute. That is amazing. Uh, I, I said uh, 80,000 miles uh, for, uh, this was a satellite, and this happened, hey, uh, two or three weeks ago. And what else is going to happen that we are not prepared for? But the main thing I say, hey, let's work on this education for everybody. Exactly. Parting word there. Well, you just talked about the young lady, and mm -hmm. we do. Part of the future is taking care of our our troops. Mm -hmm. When they come home, they need to be able to have a job, get an education, get health care, because a lot of them are coming home with that. You know, in their minds, it's just too much, and so they bring that home. So that's part of the ta talent that we're missing by not taking care of those those folks that take care of us. Yeah, really, that's quite true. You know, mm -hmm. is that uh, they, uh, it's a shame is that uh, the soldiers, they put their life on the line and then they uh, come home and they're right. not able to get a job. Right. <laughs> they, what was the, they want to know what were they fighting for, you know, uh, that the, right. uh, actually the system didn't make provision because uh, I know that, and that didn't just start. It was all, all the way from World War I where uh, veterans come in. And what happens is that they give their, uh, their most of them in the prime of life, most of them yes. 18 to uh, yes. 30, you know, and uh, they do these things. And that, uh, what happened? This has been Ed Brown. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got something 2015. Right. We got something for you. See you then.